Hello guys, uh, so right, this video is going to be just a quick one, just to say I was going to do part two of the silver birch, spalted silver birch video next, but with what I've decided to do with this bit of timber, unfortunately I can't do it because I don't own a router table, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a router table in a video. Once I've built the router table, I shall then build the trinket box, the dovetail trinket box from this. Okay, so I have an old, it's not old, but I have a Bosch GRF1250 router, brilliant router. It's, it's 110 volt, which is why I can use it. So all my 110 volt gear will remain in this workshop. Down the line, I'm going to do videos of me re completely revamping this workshop because at the minute the, the workflow just isn't working. I designed it, I put it together very quickly to do to work with sheet materials with my carpentry business. So, and it does work, but it's a struggle. So moving forward, this will be more of, of a standard shop. It won't facilitate eight before sheets so easily. They will have to be cut to smaller sizes before I bring them in. Uh, Cause trying to get the full eight before sheets in here is quite hard work. The shed slash workshop slash classroom is approximately, it's about eight, eight and a bit foot wide by about 25 foot long. So it's long and thin. It's quite hard to, to actually get a decent workflow in here. But moving forward, that's what I'm gonna do. So we've got plenty of videos to, that I can make for you. Next one's gonna be this router table. The one after that is gonna be trinket box at this bit of silver birch. And then I should just build other videos um, from there. So, all right. Cheers, thanks very much. Right, so at this point, completely coincidentally, a friend of mine messaged me asking me if I wanted a router table that he had going for free. Just wanted to give it away. Uh, so, in the end, I decided to rattle through this router table quick. I didn't take too long on it. As you'll see, I didn't sort of complete it to the standard I was going to. And so this is part two. There's a few clips of the router table being made because I was committed. And then there's some clips then moving on to the box. Okay. Right, okay guys, so this is evening two of the round table. I can only do like an hour hour each evening, so it's gonna take a little while. Um, but this is where we got to yesterday. So the router's attached to the board. Okay, so I'm gonna now take this off and continue building the actual bit of a router table. So what I've been using, I had all this, old, this off cuts of veneered MDF from some old furniture that, that got dis disassembled and broken up um, and altered. So I kept them all because I didn't want them to be skipped. And here I am, and this is what I'm going to use. Okay, so catch you later.
So, some will have noticed that we've missed some of the process. Now, unfortunately, being a newbie, my camera wasn't recording while I was doing the slot for the inside of the box and the ends. I made a mistake, so uh, yeah, we didn't get the footage. But pretty much all I did was use the router table again to route out the hollow for the actual inside the box and then I just cut two ends from off cuts of the birch I then just curved the, the edges on my belt sander glued one end as a stop and then the other end I fitted four magnets so obviously that's how you enter the box as you'll see later in the video cheers Hi, uh, just a quick thanks to everyone that's got to the end. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, some of you may notice the small hole in the bottom of the box. That was from where I resawed the bit of birch from a log, and I, it was the screw I used. So unfortunately, there's nothing I could do about it. But overall, generally quite happy with the little box. The grain's quite pretty, the spalting looks good. So yeah, hope you liked it and see you in the next.